I think he's white or Mexican. I think I see it in a picture of him. Yeah. I mean, whatever. It's all good. It's just funny. The mystery. <laughs> that is. That, that's the cool thing about it. It is a mystery, but you don't really know who he is. Mentorship is very important, but you have to, you have to be responsible enough to understand when you no longer need a mentor. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like there's more money in the disease than the cure, bro. Big fact. A lot of women are giving to receive. A lot of women have their own agenda. And when their agenda for doing what they did doesn't work out, they wanna they wanna call you, say you ain't shit. Y'all don't understand how the universe works. Y'all don't understand the law of attraction. Y'all don't understand everything. Your bitter moms, your bitter friends are telling you women how to be. You gotta get this nigga, you gotta get this nigga. The worst thing you could do to a Kardashian and any woman for that matter is not give them attention. Because women want attention more than they want love. Women want attention more than they want the money, actually. The money, they don't care about the money. They care about the lifestyle. AV, let me tell you this. Moving forward, as, as like right now, I will be adding value to your life. I want you to know that. Niggas need to start investing in their messages, not their studio money. Let's go. It's up to you. Yes, listen, my G. Oh, oh, and I'm not. I'm, <laughs> listen, respect to everybody. But invested. So for me, I don't necessarily have to tell a bro that I'm a lady. Cause bros tell me, yo, you got a lot of bitches. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good. Dude. But it's just the way I move. Doing things that are conducive to the household and the family structure, then I appoint you as a leader in that area. Sort of like a VP, like a Kamala and shit, right? So boom, Kamala, you gonna be taking care of this shit, the West Wing. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, some yo, you know what? Some niggas, uh, if, correct me if I'm wrong. Shout out to Tyrese, though, but that nigga was crying like a baby a couple, maybe six months ago on the gram. That's the nigga that acts like a light skin nigga. That's a dark nigga that acts like a light skin nigga <laughs> crying on the gram. You have to kill a woman's delusion and be her solution. What do I mean by that? Women are delusional. If a woman wants to be with you, you gotta kill that delusion and create the reality that you have created for your life that's gonna be best for her. Not only do you have to pay attention to the man, but the man has to instruct the broad, the new broad, and kind of put it back to back for setting. Compatible to what you want, you know what I mean? So, a lot of women, mind. this is my fucking domain. I'm the boss in my mind, then I'll carry myself accordingly. Because think about it when you go to a company, you work a nine to five, you know the bosses, and you handle yourself accordingly. You sit up straight, oh shit, you, you put your phone down because they carry themselves a certain way. So, if you have strict guidelines about bras not being on social media, you got strict guidelines about women not always going out. You have to find a woman that doesn't like to go out and work from there. Y'all want these Instagram models that are out of your league, that are not going to conform, and you wind up hating the bros because you are out of your league. What's the reason for that? Are you assuming most women don't have their daddies? Because that's what? I'll be... I'll I'd be like, hold on, my daddy's around. Fuck is you talking about? Like, wait. No doubt. Yeah, you don't represent the majority of women, though. The reason why I say, when was the last time you spoke to your father? Because a lot of women, unfortunately, don't have their fathers around. And because of that, they don't know how to respond to a masculine man. A lot of women want leadership, but they don't know how to take leadership from a man because they were raised by a single woman. I think it's very important for a man to learn how to master his ego, learn how to turn it on and off. When you enter into a long-term relationship, you have to know when to turn the ego off and ego on. Same thing for a woman. Women are narcissistic by nature. They are egotistical by nature. Janae says she went out with a dude and shit and his crib was dirty. Why? Niggas need to really start taking responsibility and understanding that presentation matters you know what I'm saying your attire 
matters, the way that you groom, the way that you handle yourself. But if you want to bring a bro back to the crib, clean up the crib. Women want to get manhandled, bro. And if the consensus is they want to, when you see them with these niggas and shit, they not really handling it. But when you when they going on, on a girl's trip and shit, they doing everything that she's yeah. not allowing you to do to her, bro. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you got to find both balances and shit. Real men don't let their emotions get in the way of the bag. Let's get the bag, and then we out of here. How many times have we worked? You've worked with somebody that you didn't like, but you still got that check every two weeks. That's right. So men gotta really put that shit to the side, Breeze. When something bothers me, when when I don't like something, I just turn it off. Or I turn my head. Y'all niggas can't. Y'all y'all niggas. It's like you guys are watching an accident on the road, and y'all can't move. But the accident to you. It's us leveling up. So at the end of the day, you lo love is the hate is the new love, bro. So all the haters, all the, the non-believers, all the niggas that really don't see what the fuck is going on, man. I feel bad for you. My my advice I'm gonna give you real, real quick, Alpha Villains, is make your drop today. Mysterious and unexplored regions like the dark web of the internet. For this reason, men need a method of decrypting or hacking the manipulative psyche or dark web of the female mind. Once a man has a deep understanding of true female nature, he will then be able to hack her programming. Access granted. The purpose of this book is to help grown males evolve into men so that they can treat the women in their lives accordingly. You win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. What's good, I man? Check one too. Am I clear? Yeah, we clear. We live too. You already know. <clears throat> yes, man, welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, this is this is this is a good one. This is a special for me, man. This is the first episode one on one with AV. Um, I felt it was only right to have author, brother, son, friend, content creator, world traveler. As my first guest, the man who was formerly known as the Red Pill Chauvinist, RPC. What's good, my brother? How are you? Hey, man, I'm 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 great right now. Uh, the fact that I'm here with you, man, Mr. Alpha Villains, aka V, man. Y'all appreciate you having me, especially as having you having me as my uh, as your first guest, man. So thank you. I'm I'm I'm, I'm honored. And yeah, man, let's make another classic, man. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, man, let, let me, like I said, man, it was only right. I mean, let, let's real quick, for anybody who's new to me, RPC gave me my first big break, bro. RPC gave me my first big break. It was an experiment. It was more like a favor. He's like, all right, bet. I'm going to put the nigga on and shit real quick. Duh, duh, duh. And um, we bonded right away. He, he, he found out that I was I was Haitian also. Both, both uh, from Long Island, you know I mean, both from New York. We both speak the same, and we both had similar stories. And, and he was gracious enough to to bring me on his platform to talk about my merch, alphavillains.com. And um, he even rocked my merch and did some videos for me. So I appreciate you for, for, for putting me on, bro. Like I said on my first stream, um, I'm going to thank everybody who was who put me on. I mean, I'm not going to forget it. I wanted to thank you personally, RPC, man, because – You've inspired me, and you continue to inspire me, man. And the re and the and, and another reason why I'm excited about this this episode is because we're gonna talk about the book. Like I said, the real pill chauvinist, man. He's an author. He's got a great book out. You can see it. I have it on the back of my mantle. I also have it on the screen for you guys. It's available on Amazon. Hacker, True Female Nature One Hundred and One. All right. So I brought him on because I wanted him to talk about briefly, kind of reintroduce himself and just kind of. Tell us what led him to, you know, what inspired you to write the book, bro? Hmm. So for those out there who don't know who I am, like like A.B. said, I'm, I'm formerly known as the Red Pill Chauvinist. Now I go by the Real Pill Chauvinist. You know, shout out to, to Black Graham. 
But real quick, the reason why I changed my name from, you know, Red Pill Chauvinist to Real Pill Chauvinist is because, you know, I've had my channel for about three years now. And when I initially started my channel and I called it, like I said, the Red Pill Chauvinist, the Red Pill, the Red Pill mindset wasn't what is, isn't or wasn't the way it is portrayed today. You know, before the Red Pill mindset, or for me, the Red Pill mindset is not just about women. It's not just about females. Red Pill mindset is about being able to see the, the 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 world for what it really is, and being able to ask you know your own questions, so on and so forth, as opposed to just accepting and just you know just swallowing whatever the media tells you, whatever the media gives you. To me, that's what the red pill mindset is. To me, with the red pill and the way it's portrayed on on YouTube nowadays, it's more so strictly about women or mostly about women. It's more it sound like you know women hating and stuff like that. So I kind of wanted to. I don't want to be associated with that so i kind of just switch it up a little bit so that's just a, a back background on the name change um as far as why i started my channel i started my channel basically to improve young boys males and to make men become you know even greater become kings if not gods on this earth because I, I i say on my channel to know thyself is to know your to know your god mm. and which your i'm talking about is up to you to decide which your i'm talking about when i say to know your god so anyway so on in my uh in my channel i talk about uh self a male self-improving because i found that when i went on a lot of panels guys would ask questions about women how do i get a chick number how do i get a chick over and when my response would be well first off the first thing you got to do is get yourself right because you got to put her on a program and this then the third and boom 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 and a lot of guys don't want to hear that because in my response i'm telling them that they got to put work in and a lot of these dudes, a lot of a lot of people in general, but like, especially these, these younger cats, but I'm not gonna get into that. But people in general nowadays don't like to put in that work. But I, on the other hand, I'd rather put in that work because whatever I receive from that work, I feel like I earned it, and I also feel like I deserve it. Well, you got right. people out here entitled, feeling like they deserve things that they haven't even worked for. So self <laughs> self improvement. Also talk about traveling, getting out the box, getting off the plantation. You know, getting your I, passport tatted up. Get, yeah, get your passport to tat it up. Wear it up. And oh, real quick, go. the reason why the reason why I emphasize that is because a lot of times people be thinking like their world is their town, their city, their neighborhood, their state. Not realizing there's different cultures out here, there's different music out here, there's different zip codes out here, yeah. zip codes, slangs, you know what I'm saying? Just different things that when you experience it, what I like to say is you create a new wrinkle in your brain. Once right. you create a wrinkle in your brain, that don't go nowhere. Matter of fact, you build on that wrinkle. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So travel, get that passport tatted up, man, move around. You know what I mean? And then I, I just recently re released a video saying how to create families abroad. What I mean by that is I could there's certain cities abroad that I could touch down in. I don't I mean I I won't have to, I won't need an Airbnb. Uh, I won't need a hotel. I won't necessarily easy. need bread to eat. You know what I'm easy. saying? But, yeah. That's a that's a whole like I said that's, that's, a, that's something video. else. That's they something not ready. Else. They not ready. Right. But Paul, not, real quick though, yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off though. But that Brim ahead, though is crazy. That Brim that Brim yeah. is looking crazy. Uh, yo, appreciate you, man. I was, you know I was I mean? at the, the shop the other day with my man. She was copping a suit for for something unfortunate. But yeah. with that, but besides that, I was in the store and I seen his hat and I was like, yeah, I need to get that, yo. And the thing is, the funny thing, Av, like when I copped the hat, I was with my man's. My man's like two, three years older than me. I'm 40 for anybody who don't know I'm 40. Yeah. And I was telling my man, I was like, yo, I never thought I'd be in a store buying hats like this, man. Like, but I feel good doing it. You know what I mean? He's like, yo, bro. that's because you're on your grown man ish right now. I was like, say less, man. Bro, yeah, say less, say less bro. Yo, that, that brim looks crazy. You can pull it off. You're pulling it off real good, man. But yo, you yeah, said something very that. important that I kind of want to get go back to real quick. I think it went over a lot of people's heads. You said to know thyself is to know your God. Yes, sir. Your God. Before he went into that, he says that he wants his 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 one of his motivations to create the channel was to 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 for the betterment of men and to possibly, you know, create kings or if not gods. Peace. The yes, Afi sir. Kingdom podcast. My brother, guys, please make sure you guys subscribe to the Afi Kingdom podcast. That's my business partner. That's both of our brothers. That's 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 one of the motivations. You know what I mean? That's one of, of the inspirations, He's the one that linked this up. Yeah, he's the one that linked this up, man. That's what, 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 what? Phil, Phil Jackson, man. Word up. That's, that's, that's Quincy. Quincy Jones. That's yeah, Quincy, Quincy Jones. We already yeah, talked about that. Better. That's Q. That's yeah. Q now. For anybody that don't know, I call him Q. That's Quincy Jones. We are the world, but we'll talk about that offline. Word. Feeding niggas. 
<laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, nah, but you said, can you elaborate a little bit again, man, just to, you know, the, the ideology of knowing yourself to become a God, your God, like in paradigm peace. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Peace. Elaborate on that real quick. Cause I think it went no, over no the asthma. No doubt. So every, I mean, let me start off by saying I'm, I'm a thinking human being. And when I, what I mean by that is ever since I can remember since my earliest memories, I've always been a thinking person, not to get into in details about other things I thought about, but one of the things I thought about was I went to Catholic school, been to Catholic school for 12 years. I think I might've been like maybe fourth or fifth grade. You know, you know, you know, regular Bible study, whatever. And they were like, you know, because, you know, God is everywhere. God is this and da da da. Because God is, I was like, hold on, God is everywhere. Hold on. So that means God is in that chair then, right? All right. That means God is, God is in this pencil in my hand. Okay. But hold on. If he's everywhere, it means everywhere. So that means God is in that bird outside, right? But hold on. If God is everywhere, everywhere, that means God got to be in me too. And the voice said, yeah. I know people have voices in their heads, man. I ain't trying to sound crazy or nothing like that. But the voice said, yeah. So not realizing, but I basically said, God, is that you? You know what I'm saying? And me and me and me in that and in, in, in that have, have had a relationship ever since. So when I say to know yourself is to know your God, to go a little deeper. The more I learned about myself, as far as going through trauma, understanding it. And I, and I really do mean emphasize going through it. Like you have to get to the other side of it where you can look back and it doesn't have that same hurt feeling. If you think back to the quote unquote trauma and it still hurts, you're not over it yet. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So, so when you go through, when you go through trauma, you go just through experiences, good, bad, and different. You know what I mean? And I mean, you go, you, you go deep, you, a deep dive and you get to the crux of whatever that situation is and you learn from it. Cause like we always emphasize, it's never a loss if you learn from it. So once I learned from the situation, this is this is this is what happened. Once I learned more of myself, I started to understand and learn more about other people. Because remember, God is in me, right. but God's in you too. Right. So I see me in you. I literally see me in you. Mm. So now that I see me in you, okay, I see what your situation is. Oh, you didn't you didn't get passed that test yet or you didn't understand that test well guess what i passed that test with like an 88 so i could i could put you on like yo bro you might need to do this so this might be the, t- the situation ailing you and if the person has a listening ear and they listen that will propel them or help them or expedite their trip their trip through their trauma a little quicker and that's what it's all about but, but but what stops people from having that listening ear to get through that trauma a little quicker is ego Mm. Ego's that big monster. Ego, ego's that shell that you're actually in that walks around in the world that you know what I mean that people see. You know what I mean? So, like a uh, shout out to uh finesse Jesse, man. Um, he did a, he, he we, we spoke in a chat where he basically said you have to learn how to turn your ego into your pet. And basically, once you once you learn Walk how to turn shit. your ego into your pet, exactly. <laughs> I mean, because we never say kill your ego. I would never say ah. kill your ego because that e- your ego gets you out of situation. Your ego keep your head above waters in certain situations. You know what I'm right. saying? Especially dealing with a chick. Me, right. Alfie was talking about that. You have to have a certain level of ego to deal with these sh- with these shorties. You know what I mean? Especially with yeah. narcissistic. We're not gonna get into that. But anyway, to know yourself is to know your God. Honestly, and the, the the most the the hardest or the most difficult part of someone getting to know themselves is the fact you have to be brutally honest with yourself, man. A lot of people aren't willing to be brutally honest with themselves. Like, yo, I, I damn, I'm fronting, man. Or I'm faking. Or damn, how I got a Benz, but I'm, I'm living in a, in a, in a room. I'm renting a room right now. Like, stuff ain't adding up. There's people. That's why. That's another reason why I believe a lot of people like noise. And I be telling people, you gotta learn how to master solitude. And when I say solitude, I'm not just talking about you just away from people, but you, you watch YouTube all day. You got music in your ear all day. Nah, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about mastering solitude. And it's just you. And that voice, you heard? But a lot of people don't want to be one on one with that voice. Okay, that one, that voice is gonna tell them like, "Yo, bro, hold on, yo, fam, you've been you've been BSing for the past six months. What's good? What we doing right now?" They don't want to hear that part. They want to hear, "Yo, let's 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 get lit with the party at." Yo, with, uh, let's get that, yo I'm, I'm trying to get some box here. What up? What up? Right, right, and right. I, last thing I say, last thing I say is all that is just a distraction from people getting to learn themselves. Because like we like you heard in in a, in a panel we did with China White. 
we said once you get to learn yourself you know what i mean you get a little knowledge under yourself whether it be psychology sociology whatever the case may be mm-hmm. you start talking to chicks and you'll be able to introduce that chick to herself but go ahead, though, AV. nah woof yo guys please make sure you guys <laughs> subscribe to the real pill chauvinist all right we he has a book out which we're going to unpack really quickly soon Hack Her, True Female Nature. It's available at Amazon. You can see it right here. I got it in the back of my mantle. Boom, you already know. But real quick, before we go into some of the some of my favorite chapters, and I think most important chapters, Afi wanted me to see if you can unpack a little bit of some of the shit you and him talked about. A little bit. If, if you can, you know what I mean? Because you already know. Uh, I Streets mean, is watching. You know, I- yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't I don't like to bring too much of the, 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 the private into the public. Yeah, but, yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If you can, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, I, I, to, be, to be honest, I don't. We, we spoke I, about a lot. We, we spoke for like an hour and a half. I, I, I don't know, bet, I don't bet, know bet, specifically bet. what he's talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 anything, yeah, 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 yeah. Be a little bit. I, I, I don't got a problem speaking about. It. If he's cool with it, just your, your feet. Just be a little bit more specific. You know what I mean? Because you might say speak about our conversation. I start. I might be stuck. Or well, he might be. Yeah, he, he might start about, spraying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah, might start you know spraying and shit, so, and the niggas gonna get wet. Niggas get wet, B. You know what I mean, you already know. I right, bet. So let's talk, let's let's go in. Let's dive right into the book, man, yes, because sir. this is this is this is this book, man. You know, you it, it says female nature one on one, but despite you know, I think you put that title because it you, it's remedial to you per se. But I I like the uh, way that you did it because despite it being remedial to you. You put a one on one in there because it really breaks down simple concepts that people can't have a good that they can't grasp. Right. So the first one I wanted to talk about, the chapter that I wanted to talk about, and if you guys have the book, it's on page 53. It's an acronym. Mm. Mask. M A S K. S-K. Mm-hmm. Please, can you elaborate on what mask is and what inspired you to write that? Okay. Mask. First of all, we all know that you know everyone has a mask, M A S K, no acronym, a mask on. You know, we, we, we like, especially in the dating world, we call that the, the ambassador. You know I mean, when you, when you, especially women, when they first meet you, I even put it in the book, when they first meet you, they introduce the ambassador, meaning the way if a, a chick meeting me, knowing what I like, what I do, what I'm into, she's going to put a particular mask over just in general, especially if, I, you know, if she's attracted to me, she wants me to like her, she's going to put a, a particular mask on. She believes I'm going to be attracted to. Oh, I like to travel too. Oh, you know, I believe in, Men empowerment too, like yeah, young boys and you know what I mean. So she's gonna put that mask on. But she made me A V. A V A V may be into, you know, business, finances, you know, traveling also but the different places. And she may be on some, oh yeah, I'm into business too, and so on and so forth. So I just say that to say that be mindful that when you meet someone for the first time, especially I mean, just people in general, but we're talking about female nature, just understand they have a mask on, especially if they like you. If you are confident dude, you got some type of status in you know in your in your area. Uh, a little money in your pockets, you know what I mean? You, I don't want to say you to pray, but yeah, chick, see, you, you're, you're selected. Shout out to Ron Wills. You're a right. selected one. You're a select, so you're you're select a, man, yeah. Yeah, you're a select man. So when you're a select man, you got to be mindful. You have to have the eye to see, you know, through the BSC, through the mask. Not saying that you should be throwing away chicks who have a mask on. They ha- They need to have that mask on. They're an empty vessel. So when they come to you, it's like you reprogram. Okay, what's this guy's programming? Okay, let me see if I can guess it for now until he put actually puts in the programming so anyway that's just the mask in general but what i realize is that dudes need to realize it, we already know it's the games but it's, it's it's not checkers though it's chess right games. because yeah because the mask for everyone who doesn't know it's it's makeup attire script and kitty and kitty bro break mm-hmm. please if you don't mind and make up a tie yeah, yeah. script and kitty break yes. that down because i should went over a lot yes. of niggas heads bro go ahead let's go yes sir, yes, sir. So when it comes to the mask, M A S K M meaning makeup. First of all, the, the acronym basically stands for different ways that women manipulate men, right? But what I was going to say was is that if a guy doesn't have control over his own sexual urges, yeah, then the mask will work on you. Her makeup, her attire, her the, the strip she wants you to run on her, and her kitty. So start off with M in makeup. Makeup, like I said the other day, makeup is 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 a, a a mass like a like it's damn near like a physical mass right and what i not, not to get like i want you guys to read that, that that part in the book this this whole chapter so i'm not gonna get too deep into it but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Makeup, we're not giving no no we ain't giving nothing for free but go ahead, go yeah ahead. yeah yeah exactly but when it comes to makeup what i want to do is to understand is well first let me say the good thing about makeup 
I in the book I didn't say that women should not be wearing makeup. What I did say is that when it comes to makeup, makeup should accentuate beauty. It should not create it. As Woo! we know in some of these hold up, hold up, hold up, these, <laughs> hold up. Go ahead one more time. Great. Makeup great. should what? Makeup should accentuate beauty, not create it. Okay, because we've seen these makeup videos where a chick look, I'm being real PG, a chick look like this. She put the makeup on, she looked like a completely different person. You know what I'm saying? So that's damn near sorcery. Yeah. So when it comes to makeup, again, makeup is good in the sense that it should accentuate beauty. But the other side of it that I emphasize in the book when it comes to makeup is, dude, you got to realize, okay, number one, I work in the healthcare field. So what I want to emphasize is sometimes these you be like, yo, why does she got so much cake on her face? She got mad makeup. She don't even need all that makeup. Why she got all that? Ah, ah, ah. Fellas, not all the time, but some of the times, the reason why she has all that makeup, yo, fire sign. The reason why she has all that makeup is sometimes she's trying to hide disease from you. Because you got to understand when, when, when someone is sick, sometimes it may not. It may not be a cough. It doesn't have to be like, you know, bumps or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Them herpes, ah, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just hives. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep it PG. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just hives on her face. You know what I mean? Little little, little tiny bumps. Or or because she's she been kicking her face up since eighth grade. You know what I mean? Now she got craters on her face by 21. Like, yo, that's not a good look, man. That's not healthy. That's that's a mind thing, too. You got to understand. Nice. A chick who feel like you need to kick her, her face up like that, That's that's like... And, and here you come with your cape on. You're beautiful, baby. You don't gotta put that makeup on like that. Like uh, nah, bro. Like if that. you want, if you want to uh, 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 build a girl, like a build a girlfriend. I'm saying, yeah, you gotta program a chick to your programming. But if a chick is broken, bro, like unless you got the time and the energy to fix it back up, all power to you. But uh, again, that's... these are the signs you have to watch. Women wear makeup a to probably cover up signs of other things. She could. She could be, I don't know, she could uh, like getting um rough sex from the, from, from a side dude. So she got a little makeup on her neck because that, that dude was all up in here the night before choking her up. Right, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? So all I'm saying is they wear mad, uh, makeup to sometimes hide things. Boom, attire. Remember, all this is wrapped around manipulating you. Attire, bruh. Nowadays, when it comes to their attire, yo, they act like they don't know what they're doing. Nice. But you know, they got their cleavage out. Some of them wear them shirts with the bottom, with the with the with the with the bottom, the, the under cleavage showing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So over. Well, what, what, what Biggie said, pants look like it's painted on. Right. Like back in the day, if a chick wore the things that women are wearing now, back in the day in a movie or a TV sitcom, they would be assumed to be prostitutes. Okay. Nowadays, am I correct me if I'm wrong, Av? Most of these chicks wearing yoga pants, but I don't see most of these chicks in yoga classes though. What's going on? What are we doing? So, you. so, so you think you, you think these chicks are coming out the house looking like this for no reason? You think they're oblivious? Like I don't know why these guys are looking at me, right? And then they're gonna be like, "Yo, I don't know. I, I hate these guys are cat calling me. Why are this guy saying this? Why is he looking at me?" Let me tell you guys something, fellas. When it comes to the way they look, how they dress, and all that, and they talk about I don't like this guy doing this out. They talk about the guys that they're not attracted to, because right. that dude that they want, that dude that they want, he could be he could be harass her, whatever. He, it's cute to her. It's right. oh my god, he's so oh, so manly the way he. But that dude that's not feeling like that. Oh, he's 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 harassing me. He's, HR, he's yeah, get 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 on yeah, HR. HR. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it comes to tie fellas, yo, like I said, they, they they wear clothes looking like it's painted on. Now, fellas, we all, let me emphasize this: we all have our own biological urges, biological imperative. So I'm not gonna sit here and say don't look at no chick wearing what she's wearing. What I will say is, yo, fellas, sometimes you gotta throw the dark shades on. You gotta throw the mirror shades on. What I do if I don't have the shades on, I'm gonna peep her through my peripheral. I will not look directly at you, or I'll look through. I'll look through a reflection. I've seen. I've seen enough female bodies that all I need to see is reflection to figure out what I need to see and be like, all right, cool. But I'm not giving her the. Ooh, ooh, yo, 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 ooh, ooh. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not even. I'm not even doing this right here. I'm not even doing. I don't even like people seeing me do that. Word. That's that's too that's, that's too much. Go ahead. Hold up, hold up. Before we get into to script, Viking Paradigm says, "Real talk, cats need to stop dropping and just to leave a like, then leaving. It makes your like look like it's a bot and kills the channel if you don't stay to watch." Mm. I got you, man. I appreciate that. Yo, you said something important, man. That I was thinking the other day. All these broads are wearing this these yoga pants and shit, and they overweight. They not. They not. They not. They not. They can't. They can't breathe. They looking crazy. 
it's just a, it's just it's just another part of the mask to hide the fact that they lazy to hide the fact that they 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 not healthy that they don't have any discipline you know what i mean so listen man let, let's go let's go real quick, let me tap into that real, real quick go okay go ahead go ahead, go ahead b let me say because you said something that um my man's put me on years ago made me think and i was like yo he's, he's on point you said yeah you even got you know big girls in the yoga pants and all that right so another shield that women have sadly enough you know what i'm saying you, you Yo, you dudes out there who don't who don't interact with enough women, you don't realize how much trauma women go through at such a young age. You know what I mean? Which 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 is the reason why they do what they do when they get older. What I mean by that is, you know, real talk is a lot of lot of a lot of women out here, you know, as young girls, you know, they got touched or whatever the case may be. But I say all that to say, my man's put me on. He was like, yo, the reason why, you know, some of these girls are big girls is because they want to detract or they don't want to attract dudes to them because they were because something negative happened to them when they were younger so they feel like if they put the weight on they want to get as much attention from dudes and so on and so forth so that's just that's just something i want to drop in dudes that's because that's heavy. why yeah it is so that's why when i see what i see in the world and, and at least in, you know in the, in the country i see big girls i'll be wondering like i mean of course it ain't all of them that's not sure. the reason for all of them sure. but it's like hmm, hmm. right right <laughs> anyway so let's, let's talk about script. Script. Give them the break down. Another, an, script. Another form of, of manipulation. Now, the, the way I came up with script is, is the fact that in my in in my late, latter years in high school, in my early years in college, you know, what I mean, when I would talk to chicks or whatever the case may be, at that point, I had order, already realized when it comes to my mouthpiece, I work best when I ad lib. I work best when I improv. When ain't no canned lines, True. and ain't no, you know, what I mean, it's just off the dome. Whatever I'm thinking at the True. moment, how I feel. I'm just gonna tell you, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you how I feel with my face, with my body language. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, a lot of years in high school, early years in college, a, a chick would say something. We'd be in conversation. A chick would say something, ask me like, "So RPC, what do you think about blah blah blah?" Or what would you do if boom boom boom? And I would give her the straight raw truth. And her response would be, "You wasn't supposed to say that." And my response would be, "Oh my bad, I didn't get the script." Like on some sarcastic shit. Bang. But, I started, but I started like 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 thinking about that like. Why do women always tell me I'm sp supposed to say this? Like, where they getting this from? You ain't get the memo. Yeah, it, exactly. I didn't get that. I was like, yo, what? I was like, oh, they, was, they sound like they would. They want me to sound like somebody from like a rom com or something, or somebody from a TV show, <laughs> or somebody from a R and B song. And I'm, right. and I'm like, you know what? All these other dudes are doing that, but I'm getting results though. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, right. when it comes to the script, another form of manipulation is, I mean, basically, women want you to follow a script. Well, you know, you're supposed to at least take me on three days before this happens. And, you know, I'm, I'm at least supposed to be your girl if they give you the script. Like, yo, this is how it's supposed to go. No, no, bro. You run the program. You're the leader, remember? Shout out to LDA. Like you said, you can't lead it. You can't lead someone if you're chasing her. You can't lead her if you're chasing her. You understand? So when it comes to the script, fellas, create your own script. She should, she should be following your program. Don't be on some, like, like, for example, the script is, you know, when you first meet a woman, you know, Try not to be vulgar around her, you know. Be respectful and yeah, all right. You go, you go ahead and try to see how that works. For you. <laughs> How's that working realize, out for you? Yeah. I, I, yeah. Let me see how that. Once I realize that, like, you know, I want to be myself, man. Like because what I used to do is is not curse like the first couple conversations that I would have with a chick. Because I would never curse at a chick. That's the Haitian in us. From, like, that's yeah, the Haitian in us. I, yeah. I know. I, I know. Just being respectful, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's not me, you know what I'm saying? So, but once I started just just being myself off top, I could see the the, the reaction I would get off top, like. Yo, who the hell is this dude? Or who does this guy think he is? And but that who does this guy think he is, fellas, is a good thing. Right. Uh, but, all right. So that's that script real quick. Yeah, you can read the book for the rest of the script. Kitty. Kitty. Long story short, the way Kitty is used as a manipulation is, 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 is analogous to the carrot at the end of the stick. You dudes, oh, back to the three dates. Well, you know, she said if I take her on three dates, then I'll have a chance. You know, right. um, maybe if I buy her a purse, this, this is what I hear all the rappers and the scammers are doing. So if I buy her a purse, right. maybe, back back to maybe pussy, maybe maybe I could get that maybe pussy. Right. Like 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 like, like we serious? Rolling so, the dice. Rolling the dice. So back to dudes controlling your sexual urges. Once a chick knows that that's what you want, like that's 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 like your 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 motivation. Or not, nah, she she ain't controlling you now. Like don't and don't get caught up in a situation where you got a chick saying, oh oh. See, see, because you did that, or because you said that, see, we're, we were going to have sex tonight, but now we're not going to have sex just because you did that. Are you, are you effing crazy? You, you a little boy? You know what I'm saying? 
You so, said something so is, critical. So critical. You said you said once a woman realizes that you are her motivation, she got you now. You should a woman should never be your motivation. You know what I mean? You should your motivation should not be contingent on somebody else. It should be contingent on what you want and what you're doing. That way you always got you. Know yourself, you know thy God, you know your God. You have the ability to be God, but you have to know who you are. Yes, who you can't are you? you can't follow the herd. You can't follow the flock, man. Who Yo, are you? shout out to she's LDA. She's a reflection of you. LDA, what up? Peace. She's Thank a you for reflection being of you. Right. So if you if you if you an emotional cat, you really don't, you know what I'm saying, can't control your temper. You don't got a real program for yourself. You don't got like 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 multiple goals. And I mean like not just one goal, because if you have if you if well, depending on your age, if you're at a point in life where you haven't achieved a major goal yet, like, or, or matter of fact, when you set these goals, some of these goals should, should, should feel unattainable. Some of these goals should almost feel impossible. That's, that, that's what I'm talking about. So when, you, when you're aiming towards a goal that damn near feels impossible, but you know there's a way to get there, you know how much focus you need to have? You know how much discipline you need to have? That's why, like we said in the, in the, in the other uh, video we did, a woman should never be your pr number one priority. She'll respect you more if she's not the priority. But a lot Hold of you was raised on that. Go ahead. Hold up. You need to unpack that, my G. I apologize. You it's said I'm a, I'm gonna put it on you. Hold up. Let me hold up. Hold up. Oh, uh, what, what I said, yes. Uh, she gotta respect you. It, it, it got see, you dudes are too busy looking for her for her love. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before. She should never be your number one priority because even she res she would respect it if she's not your number one priority. Because if she's your number, let me, what I believe is if she's your number one priority, that's too much. Number one, that's too much effing pressure on her. Now all the focus is on her. You know I'm saying that's, yo, that's, yo, hold on. That's too much. Like another thing is when she met you, she wasn't your priority. Your priority was what it, what it was. So now if she done met you and she changed you, to where now she's the priority. Now she's not gonna look at you the same. Hold not up. Be the same respect. Go ahead. Hold up. Hold up, B. Damn. All right. I'm gonna say waiting. this because my memory shot. You said. You said. Mm -hmm. You said. See, if when you met the broad, you were she was not your priority. Yes, sir. You know one of the reasons why she was attracted to you because you were not, she was not your priority. That's number one. But but back up though, real quick, RPC. I need you to break down and explain why a man should set goals that are damn near impossible. That's a big one, and I know you can unpack that shit crazy. Let's go. So, set damn near impossible goals. I mean, let me just speak for myself. The reason why I set damn near impossible goals is because I don't like being normal, ordinary. I like to be abnormal, extraordinary. You know what I mean? So, whatever goal I set, it's not the same as the next dude. It can't be the same as the next dude. That's like that's like go that's like going second in a, in a, in, a tr in a trizzy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the same. You heard? So, I would rather reach a goal. I like to be a pioneer, if, that, if that's a better word. I like to buy a pioneer, someone who is the first to do something, first to be somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So I like to be a pioneer with my goals. So when it comes to, to my goals, like, I, not, not to say that my goals are, haven't been uh, said by anyone else, but real quick, like, my, one of my goals is to live out the country. I don't hear many people saying that. I don't even hear too many black Americans from New York saying that I want to leave the country and bounce and establish myself, plant my flag somewhere else. So that's a goal. I don't even know how I'm going to get there, but I'm get there, A.V. Very important because I like what he said, man. He says that a man should set a goal that's damn near impossible. Why is that? Because you're always striving. If you reach a goal, most of you guys get comfortable after you've achieved a goal. A man should never be content with the goals that he's accomplished. He should be thankful that he had the ability to accomplish them, but he should always be striving for more. So if you are striving for something that is damn near impossible, Guess what? You're always going to be trying to attain it. When you're at the top, where, can, where, where where do you go back? You go back down. Peace, Trav. I appreciate you. Sin's World, Golden Child, man. Thank you for everybody for being here, man. Let's go. Let's get this shit, man. Let's get this shit popping. RPC says some shit, guys. Very important, man. It's very important for men to try to set goals for themselves. Don't be afraid of, of the fact that it's impossible. Strive for it. You know what I mean? Yo. Hey, word. Let me let me put that in an analogy real quick. You know, let, me, let me simplify it even more. But you guys got to understand when it comes to uh, your, your journey on attaining these goals, regular goals, super goals, whatever you want to call it. The analogy to that is I, I could I can compare it to sex. Let me tell you how. 
when it comes to these goals you're attaining, the real lesson or the or the or, or life where life is really lived is on the journey, not at the actual finish line, not at the goal. It's the stuff you learn, the, the, the failures, the successes, the lessons learned. I mean, that's like, and then when you reach the end, that's like that's like busting a nut. But you know there's difference between busting a nut and orgasming, right? So it all depends what type of goal you're setting. But right. on the way to the goal, that's where the, the fun part is. Bro. That's where you can switch it up, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? My G, that's where the yeah. value comes. You don't yeah. learn how to uh, sex a bitch down by busting a nut. You learn how to sex a bitch down on the journey to busting a nut. Stop playing. We are the world, man. Let's let's not let's not play that game. Feeding <laughs> niggas out here. We feeding niggas. Q in the building. Sin's world. Yo, that was crazy. Word. Shout bro. out to the chat, man. Shout out to the chat. Shout out so, to the chat. We appreciate you. All right, so peep gang. All right, so let's go to another one. This is this is this seems redundant, but a lot of niggas can't grasp this. RPC. This is in page one oh nine. Never argue. Period. Please break that down briefly, bro. Fellas, fellas, fellas. The hardest part, the hardest thing that a, a man will have or a male will have in understanding female nature is completely putting themselves in the shoes of a woman, of a female. Because men and women are, are that much different. It's almost like you have to, you have to use your imagination. You have to be able to put yourself in like a, a play world. But anyway, my, a, a man's mind and a woman's mind is not the same. One of the things I said in the book is even when we recount a story, recount something that actually happened, men will recount the actual facts of what happened in the story of, of the occurrence. Women will recount what they felt in that story of that occurrence, right? The same with when, they, when you're speaking to them, when you're talking to them. <laughs> when it comes to arguing, this chapter came from me remembering when I was in my long-term relationship and I would argue with my ex. And we would go back and forth and I would hit with facts, you know, dates or whatever. I could, I could hit it with basically straight facts and stats. And she would hit me back with emotion. But you said this and I felt like this when you, and I'm like, bro, yeah. What's that got to do with what I just said? Yeah, like, I mean, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, has, it, it has no weight compared to what I just said, but they take their emotions and their feelings as fact. Right. You, that's, that's unfair. You can't, you can't do that. So, fellas, because we are logical, we, we 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 think with logic and reason. You can't combat logic and reason with emotion. That's like, that's like punching air. Shadow that's boxing. Like, shadow boxing. That's like you doing this. You're not really doing nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so another another example of that is. Let me say it like this: When it comes to a woman acting up, acting out of pocket, whatever the case may be, my advice to dudes is immediately remove your attention remove yourself move yourself you know what i'm saying block her if you want whatever the case be. what i say don't block her let her be able to call you or text you and let her be able to be able to see that you read her text but you ain't hitting her back you know what i'm saying because if you block it that mean or you can block it depending on what she does but the point i'm making is instead of you thinking what well, she said this i'm just gonna i'm gonna say something slick back to her and blah 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 how many fellas how many times a chick says something out of pocket whatever the case may be and you're like, yo, I'm gonna get it with this slick right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show her this. I'm gonna show her something. Boom. You text back. Her response to this, is, her response to you after you said what you said is, but why are you all in your feelings for? And you're like, what? I'm not even in my. She's correct. You know why you, your... how she knows you're in your feelings? Because you responded. You gave her your attention. Still, she disrespected you, and you still took took time out of your life. To press them buttons on that phone and send. That's how important she is to you. What I said before many times, y'all dudes gotta be able to learn how to be able to get into a relationship and leave it within 30 seconds. Shout out to the movie Heat. You gotta be able to drop bitches within 30 seconds flat. Cause realize you also have to realize that once one chick leaves, that gives space for another chick to come right in that's gonna treat you better than the last one. Cause how dare you allow another chick to come into that new slot that's acting like the last one? Bro, that's, that's ridiculous. That's appalling. Listen, man. This, yo, again, let me, let me, let, I'm gonna get back to you, Trav, in a second. Hold up. Hack her, true female nature, available now on Amazon. Do me a favor, guys, on your phone, your computer, go to the Real Pill Chauvinist Show. 
Make sure Roach over this channel rather. Make sure y'all subscribe. This is crazy. Basically, in a nutshell, bro, he's saying shit that you guys should already know. But at the end of the day, RPC said, Real Pill Chauvinist said, when a vacancy is created, there is another opportunity for someone else to, to fill it. You got to make sure that you don't give a woman attention that she knows will have uh, an effect on you. You don't necessarily have to block her. A lot of times there's value in not even blocking the bro because you're going to continue to see her bullshit, her manipulation, the shit that kind of stumped you at first before you read the book. So a lot of times I don't even got to block a bro because I'm done with her. I'm done with her. A lot of times if you don't know that if you're done with the bro, then you don't want you want to block him because you're not strong enough to be able to block her off. So you rely on other things. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but what I'm saying is RPC said you got to make sure whether you block her or not. She can't be a priority, nor can she know that she was a priority. Non-negotiables. Let, let me see. Let, let's go to what Trav said. Trav, Trav Terrell. Make sure you guys subscribe to Trav Terrell's channel. Also, he's one of the, he's part of the team. State your case. If they don't rock with you, you know how to proceed. I only play debate to finesse an emotional roller coaster. That's another show. Let's chill, 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 chill. Let's go. Word. If you go back to my comp, y'all go win. <laughs> word, word, word. Let's see. Golden Child, Peace Riley, Sin's World, Zen Mode is God Mode. Ooh, that's crazy. Zen Mode mm -hmm. is God mm -hmm. Mode. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. RBC got the, 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 the copper cup. That's where all the minerals, all the elements mm -hmm. into the mm -hmm. body. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's, sure. that's something else, though. You know what I mean? This is episode one. Sure. Let's not get crazy. Right. Let's not get crazy. Right. Yo, all right. So let's talk about this, though. Page 25. If you guys got the book, page 25. Venus controls Mars. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of dudes out here, a lot of women out here, move according to the zodiac, move according to the size of the moon, move according to 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 the month, the day. Venus controls Mars. Now, there's a book out. Mars, women are from Mars, men are from Venus, or some shit like that. Can you elaborate on that in layman's terms so people can understand? You know why Venus controls Mars. Venus controls Mars, especially in this in this day and age, this current society. What I said is like, as we know in today's society, most families are like, not most, but too many families are, are single parent homes. A lot of them for, are headed by, by the mom, especially, you know, in our community. So what I'm saying, Venus controls Mars is that since the reason why a lot of young males are the way they are now is because think about it. If they grew up in a single parent home, and it, let me let me state this first, first off, this does not apply to all to everybody who was raised by single mothers, all right? I'm gonna say that off top. So imagine it's a young boy, a little boy, raising a single single mother home. That means mom is in authority. Let's say he has even has a big sister, older sister. Older sister's in authority, because that's the big sister. Auntie, grandma, all that stuff, all these women are in authority. He goes to school. The teacher is an, an authority. He has a principal at the school. The principal's also a female. That person's in authority. So from at least, uh, infant to eighth grade, if not high school, these young boys are used to seeing women in the positions of authority, telling them what to do, how to speak, what their tone is, so on and so forth. Nah. And the bad part about that is when it comes to Venus controlling the Mars is when another Martian, a real Martian, a Martian man comes in and like, yo, young lad, yo, this is how you do this right here. Hey, sir, I don't like the way you talk to me. Hey, sir, I'm, you're not my dad. You can't tell oh, me what God. to do. <laughs> so now you can't now you can't give correction to a Martian who's acting like who's acting like a, a Venusian. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, it's almost like you have to crack the programming of these dudes. That's why you got dudes caping for for women with, with the with the with the fuckery that they're doing nowadays on social media and stuff. You got dudes that will co-sign that stuff, that will white knight this stuff because they think about their mama. You will even have dudes say that to you, like, "Oh, your mother's a woman. I can't believe you said it about women. Your mother's." It's almost like. Oh Jesus. Women have pro. Women have pro. Okay, I'm gonna do a video on this. Another part about Venus controlling Mars is, and it's sadly, you guys in the chat tell me if this is true or not. Too often, back to single motherhood. Too often, when it comes to mothers, single mothers and their sons, they try to raise their sons to be not like the dudes that she's attracted to. Right. She raises her son to be not like their father. 
okay? So now that she raises her, her son to be not like the dude that she's attracted to, but sends her young boy into a world with a bunch of women, like his mother, who's attracted to the dude over there. What's she going to do to somebody like her son? Chew him up and spit him out. So how you really care about your son if you're not putting them, at least if you're going to raise him like that, at least put him on the game. So that's the reason why single mothers out there, you got a son, even if you don't want to read this, read, read it so you get knowledge for your son. Or if your son is old enough, I say, I say 16, 16 and up. Your son's 16 and up, get this for your son at least, man. So you so you so you won't so you won't have him out here in the in the dating world like this when it comes to women and dating. So he won't just be following a woman's program. What's a woman program? Who knows? It's like smoke. You know what I mean, we solid, we it's like you know, different elements, you know what I'm saying? We the solid, you heard? They gas, you know what I mean? It's whatever. You know what I mean, so yeah, Venus Control Mars, man. Basically, fellas, we're supposed to be the leaders, man. But even when you look at society, when you look at when I watch uh TV now, they, they have men in the kitchen with aprons with, with, with the with the uh the woman of the house coming home from work asking what's di- what's, what's what's for dinner, honey. You know what I mean? But basically what I'm saying is take control back, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have a shirt called uh, Restoring uh, Restoring Order Masculinity. I believe you have that one also. Yes, sir. Very important, man. You know what I mean? But I, I want to touch, I want to go make a quick left turn real quick because I know you talk about this a lot. You talk about a man embracing his um, feminine side. Because mm-hmm. you talked about Venus controlling Mars and how everything on TV, you see a nigga with, 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 in the kitchen with, 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 a, with a rolling pin. He got a bonnet on. He got an apron mm-hmm. on and shit. You know what I mean? He he a passenger in this. He he the, he driving the kids to soccer in the van and right, shit. Right, right. He doing crazy shit. But at the same time, you also advocate a man being in tune with his, in touch with his feminine side. Can you Absolutely. explain that and how it correlates? Because yes, Venus controls Mars, but why is it important for a man to embrace his feminine side? Because a lot of these dudes are seeing shit on TV and they say, "Yo, AV RPC, he's embracing his feminine side. He got a he nah. he he got a bonnet on." You know what I mean, nah, explain that, nah, please. Nah, nah. please. Yeah. All right, uh, 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 embracing your feminine side. Shout out to Pimp God, or uh, 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 Warren Warren B. Shout out to Pimp God. He, I saw one of his videos and he and he broke down embracing your feminine side. And he, you know, he, he, he spoke about it on the on the pimp level. You know what I mean? But we won't we ain't gonna get on that on that tip. But what I got from that was because I noticed I've I've always embraced my feminine side, and I get that from my pops. One way that a man could embrace his feminine side is something as simple as wearing colors when it comes to your wardrobe. Because most dudes only wear black, white, blue, gray, maybe some tan. You know what I mean. They ain't wearing no purple, no orange, no baby blue. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, talk about the average dude. You know what I mean? So that's one way of, of expressing your feminine side. Because, you know, it's like 80-20. You know, you got the yin-yang symbol. You know what I mean? So we 80% masculine, but you also got that, that put 20% feminine. As far as, like, another part of your feminine side that, that, I, that I want to touch on is something that is, as far as, like, being able to cook for yourself. Don't, don't, fellas, don't, don't, don't ever think that cooking is unmanly. You can't cook. Beneath that's you. a woman's job. That's beneath you. Some of the best cooks in my family are the, are the men. Mind you, I'm Haitian, so the women cook. But when the fellas get on, get get behind that stove, put they oh, Word. And, 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 yeah, and it ain't just the grill neither, bro. I cook more yeah, I cook better I'm than most bros. Yeah, I I'm not even talking about, the, talking about that stove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oven, I mean? all that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but but the reason why it's important to embrace your feminine side is once you embrace your feminine side, it's easy. Remember how I said earlier. The hardest thing for a man to understand female nature is him putting both feet into her shoes. The reason why a lot of men can put one foot in, but they can't put the other is because they themselves haven't even embraced their own feminine. Like you got a little, you have a, a, a female inside of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, boom. I'm going I'm to go even deeper, fellas. I'm going to go let's deeper, go, fellas. Let's y'all, go. Y'all, y'all better strap in. Y'all better let's strap go, in. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so I got a healthcare background, right? Biology major, yeah. biology degree and all that, right? I don't, I don't speak on that too much, but. I took some graduate courses, right? And when I took these graduate courses, one of the courses I took was um, the organization and the development of the human body. So I said, not to get into too much detail, but I say all that to say, when the when the egg and the, and the, and the sperm come together and start forming the the, the, the the embryo, long story short, everyone on the planet has been a female. Because as the embryo formed, the first thing it, the first thing it forms into is a female. But as it continues to form, if it once it reaches a certain level of hormones, which will determine the the uh, the gender, uh, male or female, 
So w- once it has a certain level of hormone and, 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 it's, and it's decided that it will be a male, then that female grows into a male. That's how right. you become a male. So right. you have to go through. So what I'm saying is all males on the planet have to go through being a female to become a male. So that's why a, it's easier for a male to understand a female than it is for a female to understand a male because we, we've been there. We have to go there. It's like coming from, from earth to heaven. We gods now. We've been on earth. So when it's that, time to understand how a human move, how they work, how they think, how their emotions run, yeah, all right. And that's, and that's why I put in my book, Women Are Children. Go ahead. Hacker, True Female Nature, available on Amazon right now, man. If you are not subscribed to The Real Pill Chauvinist Show, man, you playing. I'm offended. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure if you did buy the book, very important too. Make sure you guys leave a review. Very Please. important. Very important. Please. And that, that kind of helps it with, with the circulation of, of, of Amazon's algorithm. And it really puts him and it categorizes him in the books where he should be categorized. Um, Let's see what he said here. <laughs> Throw a hamburger help a word. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like for me, um, listen, I, I believe that a man should be self-sufficient. He shouldn't be able to do Everything a woman can do, but better. Yes, yes. You have to try to outdo your woman in every facet of life in order for you to be the true leader so you can constantly teach her something. A woman doesn't want an equal. She wants a teacher. She won't tell you that, but you just have to know that. You just have to know that. Yeah, I mean, she don't know that. Sometimes you got to save her from yourself. And you said something very important that a lot of people probably didn't know. We, as embryos, zygotes, we all start off as females, right? females yes, and then and then yes, as we grow we become it, we, it it is determined whether you're going to be a male or female that could be a reason why we are the hopeless romantics men are the we hopeless are. romantics we exactly are, that's what i'm saying so a lot of people are scared to be romantic because it has a bad connotation but if you embrace it and you know what to do with it the world is your oyster yeah. this is why men are more loyal than women mm-hmm. loyalty should be a female trait but because of society, Venus controls Mars, they encourage women not to be loyal while it's innate for a man to be loyal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Trav Terrell says, I told, I told this chick if we went to Hibachi, she, <laughs> she only getting teriyaki hamburger helper. Facts. You know what I mean? Yo, it's crazy, bro. Yo. Let's let's one more one more one more chapter one more chapter before before we close out. I don't I don't know how your time's looking. Appreciate you. Page thirteen. This mm. this is this page thirteen. Y'all got the book Hacker True Female Nature One on One available on Amazon. The same but different. Wow. The same but different. It sounds simple. A lot of you niggas can't wrap this around your head. Y'all looking for a unicorn? Y'all looking for a snowflake? The same but different. We all have mamas here. Some of them are he- some of them some of them are here a lot. Some of them aren't. Some of them were good moms. Some of them were decent moms. The same but different. RPC, please elaborate for these niggas and for the audience what you meant by that, bro. Yeah, take your time. Go ahead. Deep breath. Let's yeah, go. right. Yeah, yeah. I took a deep breath on that one. See, realizing that 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 that, that females are the same but different was what allowed me to even have the word hacker. What what? Real quick, I even describe, I even say why where I got the word hacker from. Real, long story short, me and my friends, we, we always knew that we could, we knew how to press women, women's buttons. I mean, we know how to, we could say certain things or do something. Because our thing was, we like, we, we, we call it shock and awe game. I mean, I'm from New York, you know what I mean? So you got to, you know, you know, shake a chick up sometime to get her attention, you know what I mean? To make her really pay attention, you know what I mean? So we call it shock and awe. So what, what me and my people used to say amongst each other is, oh, yo, 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 watch this, yo, I'm about to make this chick glitch. I'm about right. to make her glitch as if she's an android or she's like a a, ro- a, a cyborg. You know what I mean? Right. And what I used to then to us glitch meant when I would say something or my man's would say something or we would do something, the chick response would be like she wouldn't know what to think. Like what's going on here? Like ah, you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I came up with the word hacker because fellas have to learn how to hack her programming, society's program because society's gonna tell her that you should be putting her on the pedestal, that she's the prize. So you have to hack her programming, install your programming, and then move on. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, the same but different. What I mean by that is, shout out to Moto Power. We spoke about that before too. Women, they're like, how can I say it? They're like, uh, 
if you're old enough, you remember like you you had rewritable CDs. I mean, like you know, right. you could put a uh, the new album. You know what I'm saying? You you put that boom, put the put the new album on. Right. You know what I'm saying you could race it. If you want a new album, right, right, the album on, right? You mix put that tape, paper. Right? You put the paper on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So they're like rewritable programming. Same but different. Okay. So I met chicks in New York. I'm in New York. This time, they act like this. Oh, but that's only like that's only New York chicks. Boom! I go down to Florida. Boom! I meet Florida chicks. This way, Florida chicks. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that's still like New York chicks do too. But now nah, this chick must have came from New York though. I mean, I ain't putting too much thought into it. Boom! All right, must be. The, so I go to Jersey. Hold on, Jersey chicks is. Uh, long story short, I started realizing. I right, uh, even though different states have different slang, different you know foods, whatever the case may be. But when it came to women. There was always like an underlying, like same common thing. So in my head, I'm like, all right, American women are like this. So blah 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 blah. Then I started traveling outside the country. No, let's say I went to Canada first. We're not even gonna consider that really outside the country. Went to Canada, Toronto. Yo, why these, why these chicks remind me of Miami chicks, yo? Why these chicks remind me of chicks from ATL or something like that? But you from, all right, no doubt. Boom. All right, maybe it's just. They, they, it's not mad New Yorkers, you know, migrate up there. That could be the reason. But then I started going to out the country, maybe a DR, maybe a Costa Rica, maybe a, a Cuba, maybe a, a Bogota, Medellin, whatever. Go to all these different places, even though it's a different language and a different culture, that underlying thing popped its head up again. I said, are you, are you, I really thought it was just an American thing. So right now, right now, I'm just saying it's a Western Hemisphere thing that I haven't gone to the Eastern Hemisphere. So at least that's what I said in my book. I, this book is describing women in the Western Hemisphere. But I say that to say the same but different. What I realized was it's the same. You're dealing with the same chick with a slightly different programming. You know what I mean, so when you initially meet her, you got to, you got to, you know, converse with her to see, okay, let me see. All right, let me see what program you got in you. All right, let me, okay, erase that. Let me switch that up. All right, all right, now you can come on the team. But a lot of times, dudes come and meet a chick with, you know what I'm saying, with this effed up programming, you know I mean, thinking that, well, she's not like my ex, so I'm going to treat her differently. Nah, bro. I'm, okay, same but different. Let me, let, so I, basically what I'm saying is, you'll find that when you treat chicks a certain way, you'll find that you'll get the a, get similar reactions. So that's how you know a lot of these chicks, if not all of these chicks, are the same. And the reason why they, okay, why are they different? In my opinion, the reason why why they're different is because it could be uh, 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 influences, whether it be the environment, whether it be their culture, whether it be their religion. So that's what makes them different from each other. But if you raise a whole bunch of chicks just in the same, with no, okay, let's say no religion, no social media, no whatever, they're going to all be damn near the same because it's in their initial program. I'm not, it's in their initial programming to be who they are. And Fellas might ask me, well, who are they, RPC? Well, I would ask, what is the oldest profession in the history of mankind? Right, right, right. We don't got to answer that. That's a rhetorical question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, sun's still is, out. The sun's still out. Yeah, yeah if you leave it. them up to their own devices, all I have to ask is, what is the oldest profession in the history of mankind? Go ahead. Listen, man. A car is a car, gentlemen. A car is a car. It's got four wheels. It's got an engine put gas in it you charge it up the difference between the cars is just the mass the makeup is the color of the car <laughs> you know what i mean the attire is the type of wheels and rims of the car you know what i mean the script is is, is the specifics of the car you know what i mean it's, it's it's basically a car is a car man and all women are the same and the reason why he can validate this point is because he's traveled he's confirmed this he has experience with this. Guys, you listen to content about women. They say that women are for the streets and all that shit. How do you know? Mm. How do you know? Are you repeating something that you heard from a content creator? You want to know how we know? Mm. Hacker, true female nature. What was the last country you've been to? How many? Last how many? Yeah, not, not you. No, I'm just saying. When was like, oh. you know I mean, what country? How many how many tat tattoos does your passport have? How many stamps do they have? Do you go anywhere besides Miami? Vegas. Do you go anywhere besides Vegas? All women are the same. And when you realize that, you don't hold it against them. It is ammunition for your arsenal. 
to be the assassin, the savage that you want to be. You got to remember, man. Maybe <laughs> I got I got one important point, one last important point to make. Yeah, one last yeah, one last point before yeah. we wrap up, man. But yeah. yeah, hold on, let me put let me put it on you, my G. Let's. This is probably the most important point of this entire episode. When it comes to true female nature, true female true female nature is neither good nor bad. There's nothing to be upset about. Once you understand what true female nature really is, you can kind of use it to your advantage. I'm saying now you can really become like a puppet master. Now I'm not out. I'm not saying this book is not here to teach you how to control women. This does no. It's out there for you to understand women. Your mama, your girl, your coworker, your manager. It don't matter. The police officer. You got a police night. Yeah, I'm gonna use my, my my manipulative tactics if a female officer pulls me over. Yes, I'm gonna use it, use that to get out of a ticket. Just like how females use that to get out of a ticket themselves. So I'm not gonna. Basically, manipulation to me is basically conforming the world to your to what you want what's wrong with that it's my life if i want to manipulate the world to the way i want it to be then i should be able to do that so but bottom line is true female nature is not bad it's nothing to be upset about it's nothing to shun it's nothing to you know uh, uh put women down for you should act like this no she should act the way she does it's you that gotta get yourself right that's what i kind of emphasize but once that. You get yourself right this yo once you get yourself right master solitude Maybe a little monk mode, you know what I'm saying? Stop thinking about the, the, the a pussy for a little bit, you know what I mean? Maybe stop watching porn for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Read a book, you know what I mean? So once you finish doing that, learn yourself. You'll be able to better understand women more. You'll be able to give them what they what they're looking for. Because remember, AV, as we know, they're empty vessel. What are you? What are you? What are you pouring into them? You have nothing. You don't even know who you are. But you so, mad again, at them. Right. But you but you you mad at. If you're mad, you're emotional. And if you're emotional, you're not a man. Don't you're not ready. Yo, you're not ready. Don't even think, yo, I'm thinking, don't think <laughs> get you mad is death, bro. Exactly. Death. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You lose some money, you can make some more money, bro. Death is the only thing that's final. So exactly. Stop being emotional. Get to know yourself. Don't be mad at women. Master yourself. Because once you master yourself, you master the world because the you are the world. Isn't we, that what yo, you just said earlier? We, we yo, are the listen, world. <laughs> we, we are the world, bro. We we feeding you niggas, bro. We feeding you niggas. UNICEF. We got Q in the building. Quincy Jones. We feeding you niggas, man. This We are the world, bro. Because right now, we trying to feed you niggas information that you need that you don't want to eat. We the broccoli that's, that's left on the plate. You know what I mean, y'all want the processed mac and cheese and shit and all that other silly shit, the chicken nuggets. Y'all don't want the vegetables that y'all need to help you sustain Man, this was, I knew, this was exactly what I thought it would be. A classic. A classic, bro. Man, like I said earlier, man, this is extremely, I, I feel, I'm so happy, man. I'm blessed. Um, Thank you for joining me, man. This is, this was awesome. Like I said. Thank you for having me, man. Please, first things first, Hack Her, True Female Nature. If you guys have the book, please leave a review. All right, that's number one. Number two, it's available on Amazon. Real Pill Chauvinist is his YouTube channel. RPC, please let everybody know in your own words where they can find you, how they can get at you. If they want to talk to you behind the scenes, a consultation. Let's hey, yeah, no doubt, man. You can definitely check out my YouTube channel, The Real Pill Chauvinist. You know, just type in The Real Pill. I should pop up because people get tripped up on the chauvinist part. But yeah, check me out, Real Pill Chauvinist. Uh, as far as Instagram, my Instagram uh, channel has been deleted twice by Instagram. So I have a new one called Hacker. So you just type in hacker and IG, you should be able to find my IG channel. And um, yeah, man, definitely read the book, man. Like, but what I realize, a lot of people don't want to know. Because once they know, then they, they can't play victim AV. No excuses. You know once they actually know right. how to get no excuses. Once they actually know, like, oh, wait, hold on. I could just say whatever's in my head to the chick that I want to talk to. Yeah, there is no can launch. You, it's pretty it much be you. Right. It's like, damn. So now when you ain't talking to chicks, who you got to blame? So they don't really, don't, they really don't want the knowledge. And like, like I said in other panels, I'm gonna keep it 100. With anybody listen to this, no offense to nobody. My channel is a graduate course type channel. That's, I'm on that now. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I made it 101. But AV made a great point. He's right. To me, this is 101. But to, to other people, I'm realizing because I've, I've had some people, you know, talk to me about my book, and I realized certain things went over their head. Right. And I'm like, yo, how would I go over your head, bro? Like. I wrote it as simple as I could, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But, but the program in Venus Controls Mars is so deep because it's ingrained since childhood. Right. I mean, one little book, 100, 
one little 180 page book ain't gonna change somebody just like that like some people have told me the ones who are smart this what av they said they're gonna read this about three four times because even myself i've read my own book about five times and every single time i read it there's something else i'm like oh i wrote that damn that's that's solid right there so yeah so i say that to say I, it's a i have a graduate type type level information it's kind of raw you know what i mean so if you're not ready if you're not ready for self-accountability if you're not ready to look yourself in the mirror if you're not ready to work don't even worry about you're not ready you're not even don't even worry about going to my channel my my, my i mean you, i mean i guess you could look maybe you could be inspired you could put but your, your but you're, you're, you're right you're wasting your time you're wasting your time There's nothing wrong with not being ready but you got to accept the fact that you're not ready to be ready rich mm -hmm. state of mind Rich, shout, shout out, out to, to Rich you, State of Mind. Just bought the book on Amazon. We appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? You. Yo, you will not be disappointed, man. Listen, At like all. I said, man, make sure you guys leave a comment. Make sure you guys like the video if you like the video. And uh, this ain't the last time you're going to see me and RPC oh, no. um, cooking. I mean, oh, no. but like I said, one-on-one -on -one with AV. This was episode one. It was important for me to bring him back on because it's only right. And um, I appreciate you. We out. Yeah. Peace.